so <clears throat> organ it's fine it's fine. I'll edit it right it's fine just leave, keep it rolling okay so what we're gonna do now is what's called measuring angles with the aiming circle so I'm gonna have it plumb or level or plumb and level over some sort of fine point of aim all right whether it's a hub in the deck or a SCP and I'm gonna be selecting a rear station preferably with a known azimuth and a forward station that I'm trying to find the azimuth to. So the first step of this, I'm gonna put zero on my upper scales. With my lower, I'm gonna side in on the rear station. And with my upper, I'm gonna to turn to the forward station, side in, read and record. And then I'm gonna go lower, back to the rear station, upper to the forward station, read and record that value and divide it by two. So. First things first, I'm gonna put zero on my upper scales. So I have zero, 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 point zero. That's my upper. Now with my lower motion, I'm going to sight in on my rear station. sighted in. Now with my upper motion, I'm going to sight in on the forward station. Once I'm sighted in, I simply read and record my scales. So I have 1.8 Point zero. So that's my first reading. Once I have that, I'm going to go lower motion, turn to the rear station once again, and I'm siding in with my lower motion. And I'm there. Now with my upper motion, I'm going to side in on the forward station once again. Then I'm going to read and record this value, divide it by two, and compare it with my first reading. So I have three seven seven zero point zero. I'm going to divide that by two. So I divide that second reading by two and I got 1885.0. So I compare that solution with my first reading, 1885.0. No difference, therefore they're good. I could average these together and that's gonna be the no kidding angle from my rear station to the forward station. Then I could take that angle in between the two, apply it to my rear azimuth, and that'll give you my grid, my rear grid azimuth, and I'll give you my grid azimuth to the forward station. So the tolerance for this between your first and second readings after you do the math is 0.5 mils. So after I divide that second reading by two, it should be within 0.5 mils of my first reading. And if it's not, you simply restart and try it again. That's it as far as measuring angles.